guys, so welcome to Fitness Friday. It's going to be officially Fitness Friday. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe I can inspire you and myself to be better throughout the weekend and make better choices so that come Monday, we're happier. I don't know. Um, that's my goal. That's my goal. And truly really just to stay on track. I have been on track now for only about two weeks, but let me tell you, it is it's becoming like my life again, the way that it used to be when Drake was a baby. Because when Drake was a baby, I was just a machine. And it lasted for so long through, I mean, well through my divorce and like, when did it kind of fall off the bandwagon? I guess kind of sort of last summer I started like doing this with like working out and going to the gym and I would do it like two weeks and I'd fall off for two weeks and just kind of all back and forth and just crazy. So I'm really trying to, I use that two week number. That is a bad example, but I'm really trying to just like get back with it 100%. And I have done, I did actually, I stayed with P90X3 for quite a while. So I can't say that, that that's not entirely true, but you know what I mean, you, right? Like we all yo-yo, we all go up and down and we're all really gung-ho for a while and then we kind of fall off for a little bit. And I guess that's ultimately the balance is just that the efforts there, I don't know. And it's honestly just to be healthy. And I notice that there's times when we'll be at the park and I'll be like lazy and I don't want to like, you know, I used to always do like the monkey bars with the kids and like make a fitness routine out of park time and I'll get lazy and it's like, ooh, this needs to turn around again. So anyhow, um, I want to kind of share with you guys what I've been doing and share with you my results from just a week. Now, I started this program, I bought it and I started it, but I started it on a whim. I had planned to actually like make an official start, which was the diet bet day ones, which would have been yesterday. And I planned on having like this big official, like I am starting it today's day one. I am rocking it with the workouts and I'm rocking it with the food and I'm going to do this completely, but that just didn't happen. I was having last, yeah, last month, so it hasn't quite been two weeks. It's been like a week and a half. Last Monday, I had just a really bad day, like two Mondays ago now. And it was one where I just want to like lay in bed and cry. And I knew that I had to turn my day around and like put on my happy face, but genuinely feel better. You know what I mean? Like you, you can pretend, but it's always nice to feel better. So I'm like, you know, I need to go work out because nothing else is going to snap me out of this. Like I have to go work out and just completely just work out all of the everything. And I did. And it was like, Oh yeah, like this, this is why I did so much of this. Like the mental health component is so huge with like working out and taking care of yourself. And I mean, it really, it really messes with your head in all the good ways. So I went and I put my little 21 day fix in and I pressed play and I did it. And when I finished, I was in like the best mood. I'm like, yeah, okay. So that's kind of what kept me with it. And it's weird because it wasn't the fact that my jeans are tight and it wasn't that, you know, I want to feel more confident and I want to look better in things and I want to feel better about myself and I want to look better for, you know, you know, be healthier for the kids or look better for my boyfriend or wh whatever. I mean, all of that's there, but it was really that it like made me happy. So it's kind of become addictive and I am on, I'm, I'm working through it and I have not the before pictures I took. So with that said, I didn't take any before pictures because it was like, I don't know, one o'clock in the afternoon and I just went and started it. So I didn't take any before pictures, but I did take some pictures from before I started P90X3 way long. It was earlier. I want to say it was like earlier in the summer. So I did that and I had great results and then I really haven't done anything since that. And it's, it's a shame because I'm kind of right back to where I started from before it because I didn't, I didn't do anything to maintain. I got lazy, really, really lazy. So I will show you guys those pictures and I'll show you where I'm at now. It's not going to be the best comparison and I apologize for that, but from here on out, I will do like before and after pictures on a weekly basis so that you can see the progression that way. I enjoy seeing it when I did it back. I did this, this kind of a, a vlogging style back when I did, oh no, I didn't insanity and catch the 5k. And I didn't do it when I did P90X because I didn't, that was the first time I've ever done any like official program. And it was, I didn't know. I just, I just didn't know. I mean, I didn't even know that all of those 
programs related until after I completed Insanity. So if you are interested in 21 Day Fix or P90X or Insanity or any of that, I mean T25, any of them, you can email me. I am a coach and I would love to help direct you and get you on my team and like get you set up with something that will work for you. I have found and I was talking to my I was talking to Lily who's actually like my coach and she is amazing. She is so she just deals with me and I'm a, I think I'm a lot to deal with sometimes. But I have found that there are and we had this conversation this morning. There's some programs that you just stick with and you just love. And for me it was original P90X when I was a stay-at-home mom, I was able to, my ex and I would wake up early in the morning and we would bust out P90X and it was amazing. And we stuck with it and we completed it. And then there's programs like Insanity, completed that, I mean, complete. And T25, I was able to do that one, but like P90X3 or the original 21 Day Fix, both programs that I just couldn't stick with. Like I just didn't, they just didn't click. You know what I mean? So they don't really click. I think once I complete this one, I'm going to do four weeks since my first week was really bad food wise. <laughs> so my results aren't going to be probably what they could be, but I think I might do four weeks of this instead of three and then, um, try Pio. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, so those are all, those are all options and yep. Week one, I'm telling you guys, this is, this is one of the ones that I click with. And it is the 21 day fix. It's extreme. Now I don't think that it is, that's what it's called is 21 day fix extreme. Let's see, I'll show you. I don't think that it's necessarily like extreme, extreme. I think insanity is extreme. <laughs> if you've ever done that, I mean, if, if you ever made it through that warm up, then yeah. So, but I, I think it's practical. The original one's great too. So anyways, I wanted to share with that with you guys. That's what I'm doing. And now because I've talked for seven minutes already about it all, I hope this is in focus. This camera has been a brat lately. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys my little before and after results and yeah. So anyways, that's it. I'm really happy with them. Like really happy with my results already. I am not even doing the food portion, but I am like dropping weight. I'm like, this is like the perfect perfect thing for me. So, all right. Anyways, that's it. I will talk to you guys next week. If you are doing a workout program, please leave it below. I'd be very interested to know what you guys are doing. And if you like it, and if you've done Pio before, did you like it? And yeah, I'm curious to know. And again, if you have any questions about any of it, send me an email. I'm here for you. So from the back view, what I can see is it looks like overall, I'm just a little bit a little bit like leaner, a little bit thinner throughout the sides. And then in my back, it's hard because I'm wearing much different bras. It looks like um, my back has a little bit more muscle definition and that my arms look smaller and a little bit more toned. Now, as far as the front view goes, at the top of my abs, you can tell that I have a little bit more de definition and that they're kind of a little bit more cut. It's hard because I do have, you know, I've had two kids, so my stomach is not, you know what I mean? There's, there's some mom skin issues there. But, um, anyways, to me, that looks like that's really the main difference in that region. And then in the side, you can still see the abs. Like overall though, you can see it a little bit lower down from the side angle. I wish I'd had my hands the same. I also wish that these pictures were, um, a little bit better. I am dealing with a six-year-old photographer. So they're not bad given that. Um, I'm excited to see the progression over time now that I kind of have like a week one baseline. Also, you have to remember that these pictures were taken a few months ago and I've been pretty bad the last few months. So I probably started in a kind of a a little bit less than the way I was in the four pictures. But um, anyhow, throughout the next few weeks, you guys will be able to see uh, the changes in the progression and I'm excited to share it with you. So anyways, that's it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.